For generations, U.S. youngsters went to school because they had to. And most communities boasted but one room and a single teacher with which to educate their entire and assorted progeny. Good morning, children. Good morning, children. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He made me to lie down in green pastures. Johnny learned his multiplication tables as his father and grandfather had before him through endless classroom drills. By the same process, he learned the key dates of history and impossible to spell words. And geography. The drill formula was simple, if monotonous and Johnny's box were more apt to measure the strength of his memory than his understanding. Yes. Happiest moment for the school children of that sterner era was when school let out. But for some youngsters, staying after school seemed almost unavoidable. The university is one of the men responsible for the spread of today's revolutionary teaching ideas. Professor William Hurd Kilpatrick. We are trying to help the child learn to face actuality and on this basis build his ideas, his character, his sense of self-reliance, of how to live and work with others. In a word, we are equipping the child to face his future by learning to face intelligently his immediate present. Yesterday found only in a half dozen advanced experimental schools. Today in tens of thousands of public schools from Santa Monica, California to Bronxville, New York. Progressive education is in force. Learning by doing. Learning about practical everyday problems. Perhaps a traffic problem. And practical teaching. A child can dictate what he sees before he can read about it in a book. Isn't that a little white, little things I don't know if they see do not, but they look sort of like they see. But reassuring is the man more responsible than anyone else for the school's new teaching tactics. America's number one educator and philosopher, John Dewey. The world is moving at a tremendous rate. No one knows where. We must prepare our children not for the world of the past, not for our world, but for their world, the world of the future. Today, an overwhelming majority of U.S. educators are convinced through happy, impressive results that these new teaching methods are best equipping today's youngster for today's world. Time marches on. <laughs>